King James Bible, the book of Psalms, chapter 131. Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters, nor in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Chapter 132 Lord, remember David and all his affliction, how he sware unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes or slumber to mine eyelids, until I find out a place for the Lord, a habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard, at, heard of it at Ephrathah, Ephrath, we found it in the fields of the wood. We will go into the tabernacle, we will worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou in the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests be clothed with righteousness, and let thy saints shout for joy. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away from the face of thine anointed. The Lord hath sworn in truth unto David, he will not turn from it. Of the fruit of the body will I set upon thy throne. If thy children will keep my covenant and my testimony, and I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. The Lord hath chosen Zion, he hath desired it in his habitation. This is my rest forever, here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision, I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also cloth her priests with salvation, and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. There will I make the horn of David to bud, I have ordained a lamp mine anointed. His enemies will I cloth with shame, but upon himself shall his crown flourish. Chapter 133 Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like a precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down from the skirts of his garment. As the dew of the of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Chapter 134 Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and the earth, bless thee out of Zion. Chapter 135 Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord, praise him, O ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. King praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself in Israel for his particular treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all God. Whatsoever the Lord pleased, that did in the heavens, and in earth, and in the seas, and in the deep places. He causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings for the for the rain. He bringeth the wind out of the treasure. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast? Who sent tokens and wonders in the midst of the Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his servants? Who smote the great nation, and slew mighty kings? Sihon, king of the Amorites, King of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, he gave their land for a heritage, the heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, he will repent himself concerning his servants. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Neither is there any breath in their mouth. They have, they that make them are like unto them. So is every one that trusts in him. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. He that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Chapter 136. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. 
O give thanks unto the God of gods, mercy endureth forever. O give thanks to the Lord of lords, mercy endureth forever. Him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. Him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. Him that stretcheth out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. Him that made the great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. For the sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt in, in their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever. And brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. And overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for a heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. Even a heritage unto Israel his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. Who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endureth forever. And hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Chapter 137 By the rivers of Babylon, there, were, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there they carried us away captive, required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served him. Happy shall be he that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Chapter 138 I will praise thee with my whole heart, for the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward the, thy holy temple, praise thy name for thy loving kindness. For thy truth, for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me. Thou strengthenest me with strength, my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee. O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth, yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord. For great is the glory of the Lord. Through the Lord, though the Lord be high, yet he hath, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of thine enemy, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hand. 